it's because of the last two years, but adversity has hit, and um, I think there's a lot of pressure. I don't think there is a lot of pressure on the head coach and the baseball program, and I think we're to the point now, Steve, where every pitch and every at-bat is pivotal, and uh, they have to win this series this weekend, or this thing could get ugly for, for Chris Lamonis fast. Your thoughts? Oh, absolutely. I, I agree with you 100%. And that's what happens. That's the cumulative effect of the last two years, right? You don't get any benefit of the doubt. You don't get any grace when you've had, you know, two very subpar seasons off a national championship, right? And so, yeah, Mississippi State people are very proud. I mean, they, they're, they're patient, but there's one thing that uh, they're not going to stand for, and that's going to be, you know, mediocre baseball. And as you, got, as you know, there was a lot of critics last year. A lot of people wanted a coaching change last year. And you know, Zach Selman was relatively new to the job, and I'm sure that wasn't even on his radar. And so, I don't know. The first action you want to have is to uh, is to move on at the first year from the only guy that's won a national championship in school history. And so, uh, yeah, I think Zach made the right decision. Of course, there are people that will disagree. Of course, hindsight's a, a precious gift, right? Sure. Uh, but I, I'm not ready to give up on this team just yet or the season. And I, I think you're getting David Mershon back and healthy in the lineup and getting Logan Kohler back and healthy. And, you know, those are things you don't account for, right? I mean, you know, the, the final scrimmage weekend of the, of the preseason, you, you lose your starting shortstop to a hamstring injury. And then the very first game of the year, you lose the guy you went out in the portal and got to be your starting third baseman to a shoulder injury. And so, uh, that's not to make excuses. Mississippi State should always be able to recruit at such a level that, uh, you know, you can kind of plug and play. But uh, there's a reason those guys are starters in the first place, and that's because of the fact they're better than the guys behind them. But, um, yeah, you didn't ask for that, but Chris Simonis and the crew got it figured out. Don't miss one moment of the Out of Bounds Show with Bo Bounds. Weekdays, 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. On ESPN 105.9. The Zone.